Hey, Dave, uh, Mookie not in the lineup again today and doesn't appear like he's going on the IL. Could you update his status? Um, he uh, got a cortisone shot a um, couple days ago, so kind of hoping that dissipates some of the pain. Um, the goal, the hope is still to uh, have him play on Tuesday uh, in San Francisco, but um, it, it's still day to day and I, I know he wants to get in there but it's just uh the pain is just not allowing for him to be in there so hopefully with this uh this shot that it'll uh, dissipate and uh, we can get him back in there moving around and then get him in the lineup how about cody he was out here in center field taking ground balls at first base what are you thinking with him it, it's just more of uh it's a left hamstring, so if we can get him taking grounders and first base be an option to uh, take away, uh, eliminate some of the running, um, might be beneficial. But I uh, want to make sure also that it doesn't affect uh, the swing isn't affected by it or the swing doesn't affect the hamstring more, um, although he did it running. And so just continue to give us options. But uh, uh We'll, we'll see how he responds today. Uh, hopefully, if things go well, he'll be in there tomorrow. Do you think uh, he could at least hit for you tonight and the ground balls at first base? Are you thinking that could maybe take some pressure off his hamstring? Um, we'll, we'll see. Um, he's still got to take some swings today and see if, uh, if uh, the hamstring's affected by it because that's the back leg. And sometimes uh, when you do have a hamstring, it does affect the swing as well. And uh, as far as Tony goes, uh, what, do you, what does he need to do uh, to be able to go deeper in the game for you guys? And are there any concerns about that tonight? No, no, not as far as health. I, I think there's been times where, I don't know if it was the Arizona game where he went deep, was very efficient. So it's just going out there and filling up the strike zone, sequencing the right way and going as hard as he can for as long as he can. So that's kind of... Uh, our message to him and go, go make pitches. Thank you, Dave. Yep. Next question is from Kirsten Watson. Go ahead. Hey Dave, with the success that Cody Bellinger had yesterday offensively, is it all any frustrating for him having what, when it was a double and triple event to kind of end up dealing with a hamstring injury? I, I think it is. I, I think it is. I think uh, hopefully we got ahead of it, which I think we did. Um, so it should just be a day and, and that's our hope. So I think if that's the case, then I think he's pretty happy with how he, how he felt in the box yesterday and the results. Um, so with one day down and, and we can, if we can get him back in there Sunday, I think he can keep up that same, uh, momentum with this, uh, at bats. And what's the status of the bullpen today? Is Joe Kelly available? Of course, he's still dealing with um, some soreness. Yeah, I, I don't think Joe's available. Um, I, I think Kelly would be back online. Um, I think uh, Blake will be back online um, and those other guys. Um, but I don't think Joe will be online. But we'll see. And with the offense, the guys have been starting off really hot. But it seems like as, late, as we get later in the game, things start to cool off. What is it that you're seeing that's happening late in the game offensively? Um, that's a good question. I, I think that there's sometimes we get that starter out and we, uh, keep putting up runs, um, against guys in the pen and other times we get them out and, uh, we stall when, when the, the pen comes in. So, <clears throat> um, I don't know the answer. I know that we had a chance to uh, break it open a couple times last night, just didn't happen. Um, but as far as kind of in general, I don't know the answer. I think we just got to keep taking good at bats regardless of, you know, which guy's out on the mound. And then last one from me. From my understanding, Clayton Kershaw was throwing off um, of the bullpen mound earlier today. What's next for him? Yeah, so today was supposed to be a, uh, a, a pen and uh, uh, early next week, probably Tuesday, I think it is, uh, he'll do a simulated game. Um, in San Francisco and uh, face some hitters. And then once we get through that, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be the next step, whether it's, uh, you know, a rehab assignment or activation. I don't know. So right now, I think get through this uh, patent session, do a live uh, BP simulated game against our guys, and then we'll have more information. 
Thanks, Dave. Yep. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead. Was that a uh, standard bullpen session for Clayton, 30-ish pitches? It was. It was, Bill, yes. And with Joe Kelly, can you be more specific about this soreness? Um, you know, it was just after that, that I think it was 12 pitches the other day, four days ago, it was an up and down, and uh, just said his arm was sore and just didn't respond the next day. And so we wanted to give him a day and then it turned into two. So it's just kind of not bouncing back. So um, right now, specifically, I know it's the arm bill um, and hopefully he'll be back. I don't think it's something long term. And we just want to make sure that we get him feeling uh, that he can go out there and get out and still recover after an outing. And some of the uh, the search you've had to do with the bullpen, some of the uneven performances you've gotten. How much of a factor is it that neither Gratterall or Gonzalez has been able to replicate their level from last year? Um, it, it's, uh, it's a part of the equation. Um, I, I think that they both played huge roles for us last year, um, and specifically to Victor. Um, the fastball command just hasn't been there this year. Um, the slider hasn't had um, the swing and miss that it, that it did last year. Um, the work ethic, the care, all that stuff is still in place intact, but it's about results as we all know, and it just hasn't been consistent, uh, verse left or right. Um, and I think with Bruce Dar, uh, getting the swing and miss, um, you know, just hasn't been consistent. And I think that the command of the fastball hasn't been there. It's, it's a miss yank middle to the right hand hitter, uh, or a miss in off the plate and to the lefty just trying to find something to uh, wipe them out. And we just haven't found that. So yeah, both those guys are big pieces to what we're, uh, what we did last year and we're trying to do this year. So, um, you know, we got to stay with them and, but they got to perform. That's the bottom line. Thanks Dave. Yeah. Next question is from Fabiano. Did I uh, go ahead? Hey Dave, I just want to check in and see if there's anything new with Corey Seager. Uh was active today. I, I think, uh, Fabian, I think once we uh, leave on Sunday, he's going to go out to Arizona and get in some games over there, whatever uh, games they have going over there. And once he plays, then, uh, you know, hopefully we can get him with us. So that's the next step, getting him to Arizona and playing in some games. And it's obviously been like a little bit of a waiting game with him. I mean, how much do you want to see him just be? able to play in those games for a few days in a row to make sure that the hand is okay before you guys activate them? I, I think uh, that would be great and um, comes out of it fine, and then we get them with our club. That would be fantastic. Not much would make me happier. Thanks, David. Last one's from Ron Cervenko. Go ahead. Yeah, Dave, uh, calling up uh, Luke Rayleigh, uh, is that is the plan for him to stay up for a while or is this uh, just to uh, uh, kind of fill the spot for the time being? Um, I, I don't want to say either way, Ron, you know, because I think that whether you have intentions for it to be a quick stint and then sometimes it changes. So he's here active today and um, I'm expecting him to take some good at bats and play some good defense for us. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, everybody. Thanks.